The best players the NFL has to offer on one stage. The AFC and FC Pro Bowl underway here in Vegas. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So out comes the NFC for their opening drive. They'll be led out by Dak Prescott, who burst onto the scene back in 2016 as the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year and now in his seventh NFL campaign. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Here's Prescott. There's Chris Olave, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 19 and picking up the first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. You don't see that a ton, do you? The cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. On third down, it's Prescott. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And now a decision here on the opening drive. Fourth and very short this part of the field. What do you think they do, CD? I think you go for it. I think there's a lot of game left to be played. I like the advantage that they're trying to create here early. I say be aggressive and try and get it done. They'll run for it with Barkley. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. A first down throw for Prescott. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Prescott off play action. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. play action Prescott 
And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. To throw is Prescott. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Throwing, Prescott. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. Chris Olave. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the NFC takes it all the way down the field to score on their opening drive. So the NFC with our first touchdown of the game. And, of course, we'll probably see some offense in this one. I don't know, though, that we'll see what we saw in 2013 when the NFC posted 62 points. You talk about pyrotechnics. That was crazy, even for a Pro Bowl. 62 points. I think you wore out your voice in that one, talking about all the touchdowns that were scoring. I would love to see 63 or more, though. I got to tell you, all about offense in this thing. Pro Bowl offense. Let's go. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From the 10. Now a hit and a loose football. And I believe he was able to get this back. He was. Boy, after giving up the touchdown, lucky that didn't turn into another. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks <laughs> and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. Brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. They'll run it again with Henry, and he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're good. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Barkley inside handoff. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A handoff to Barkley. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. 
So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Off the play fake, Prescott. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Throwing on first down is Allen. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And that flag accepted. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. A quick throw there, gonna be batted away and incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. On second and 15 now, Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. The NFC with the football here to begin the second quarter. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Prescott to throw it. He's gonna loft it, deep right sideline. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. To the air again, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Looking to throw, Prescott. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Prescott. He completes it to Alave. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. 
Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a give to Barkley. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled him with the inside run. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, NFC. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Gano now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The AFC set to take over on offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Here's Allen on first and 10. This is intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And he's going to bring this one back for an NFC touchdown. Wow, this one, it is getting out of hand early. They add a pick six to the ledger now. Three-score lead still in the first half. And all that celebrating that you see and hear from those defenders, it's not just because they scored a touchdown on a pick six. It's because they're pitching a shutout in this one. Every defender's dream.
Gano for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back out is the AFC offense. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because... If you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that side has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your cup. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. The 30, 10, 5, touchdown. Derrick Henry, 73 yards. And the AFC able to cut into the lead. That's what we want right there, CD. It's a Pro Bowl. Give us some of these long touchdowns. We want plays that cover a lot of ground. We want long-distance plays, whether long-distance runs, long-distance passes. It doesn't matter. In the Pro Bowl, big plays are what we're all looking for. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Second and six, just inside the 30. Prescott now. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Now Prescott. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. 
And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and that throw, my goodness, and even 70 yards through the air. Gano the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The AFC about ready to take over on offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. A first down carry for Henry. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 89 yards rushing for him now in this first half for the Pro Bowl. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. first down it's complete to Diggs he'll be hit down at the 33 five yards on the play so five yards here five on the play and it's second down going to throw looking sideline and he's going to have his man as he was able to walk the tightrope there for the completion back to back receptions for him and it's another first down I do have to admit I like it when it all comes together when the top part catching the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. From the gun, it's Allen. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And they're gonna get this to about the 44-yard line. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first. 
first down, Allen. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Six yards left on second down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So just three yards on the completion there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. to throw once more. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. Now the AFC going to use their final timeout of the half as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. To the air, Allen. Forced out to his left. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity, lost. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And this is potentially a nervy situation this close to their own goal line. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. He's got a man complete. The 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Wouldn't be the Pro Bowl without the QBs taking some shots, and that shot paid off. He understood, I don't know if it's instinctively, if he did his homework, that you do take your shots, as you said, in this game, because the payoff is terrific. We will remember how many touchdown passes you throw. I don't think we ever recall how many interceptions you throw in a game like this. Gano now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So we have come upon halftime of this Pro Bowl with the NFC on top of the AFC. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats for our visitors in the first half, and they did. A look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. Meanwhile, for our home team, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. 
The AFC going to get the ball first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession. And he's got to be wondering what happened in that first half. Three interceptions, very uncharacteristic. And even the great ones go through phases like this. Saw, and most of them, they have such a mental capacity to throw it out and essentially start over. I think that's where he's headed now. He's got his opportunity to throw it out. Let's see how he does. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. And he cannot get rid of it. The NFC getting in there for the sack. The hard-hitting safety, Jimmy Ward, picking up the sack that time. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And they decided to go with the safety blitz there. And look, if that gets picked up, quarterback really has the advantage then because they'll have more time to throw the football and some wide open space. But when it doesn't, that's a guy who gets a free run into the backfield, and oftentimes the QB ends up on his backside, as he did there. Trying to lay one up deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run it again with Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They'll try to throw now, Cousins. Now they go screen, it's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's second and seven from the nine. Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. 
Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. On the run, it's Barkley. And he is in. Touchdown, NFC. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the NFC stretching that lead out even a bit further. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, Time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Gano for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. And this is going to be secured by the AFC. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. On play action, Allen. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they've forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now Allen again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Tucker's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, no surprise there. Extremely reliable during the regular season. Bailed his team out time and again. Knocks another one through this time in the Pro Bowl. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Get a look at receiver Chris Godwin as this offense returns for their next drive. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 87 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run with Barkley. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good gain of 12 yards that time. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. down carry for Barkley and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 that's a 12 yard gain now on back to back plays boy where would these guys be without his performance on the ground that puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon and I tell you he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Barkley. And he's got some space here. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's the NFC with the lead and the football as we start the fourth. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Cousins now. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Throwing again on second and ten. Cousins. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. This offense so far on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. 134 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, a story they'll talk about after this one. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, it's Barkley. 
And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make it. Touchdown! Saquon Barkley from eight yards out, and the NFC just continuing to pour it on. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and not have to live with that for the rest of the year. Throwing again on second down. Allen, they complete it to Hill. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Allen. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Allen. And he'll just get rid of it. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. that has been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now he steps away. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Up the middle with Barkley. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 
156 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Brett and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's probably run them into submission. Uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. It's Barkley on the counter. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. We've seen that before. Jeffrey Simmons making a stop behind the line. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys... They've got it going today. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you that they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. And down to the 41. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, here's Barkley. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be given a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's the NFC with the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Barkley inside handoff. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On third down, Barkley. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll run with Barkley. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. here Cousins and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Jeffrey Simmons it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him so Charles a victory for the NFC final thoughts on this Pro Bowl we had some fun didn't we absolutely a lot of excitement some big plays to watch a lot of those great matchups that we don't get to see during the regular season